Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Not sure what the weather's like where you're at or when you're watching this, but today is a rainy, cold, crappy day in Texas. So it's a perfect day to build something and I'm going to build this. This is the Cosmic Echo Delay Pedal Kit from Stomp Wizard. And I was realizing I've built a lot of pedal kits over the years and I've built Boost, I've built Overdrive, I've built Distortion, Fuzz, Tremolo, uh, volume pedal. I've done all kinds of things, but I've never built a delay pedal. So I guess I need to. Uh, this is based on the classic PT2399 delay chip, which is using a lot of your classic delay pedals uh, from the 80s and 90s and such. Has a definite sound to it, but let's get this pedal put together. Okay, so right off the bat, we see this packaging is kind of clever. So the it's like a PCB, but it's actually the top of the pedal, and then all the parts are inside of it. That's really clever. Let's dump all those out. And then this is probably our bill of materials. Yes, it is. All right, let's make sure everything's there, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so just one thing I want to note before we start here. So you can see... This is how all the components came. They're just kind of taped like that, uh, which is fine. It makes it real easy to count them. However, if you look at the bill of materials here, we've got, what, about seven different types, different values of resistors and several different values of capacitors as well. So make sure when you pull these off um, that you validate the color codes on all of them, or maybe you just want your multimeter nearby to check. But anyway, other than that, it looks like it's really well laid out. So let's get started. done there we have it this is the cosmic echo now off camera i did one extra thing here since it's called the cosmic echo i thought it might be kind of cool to add some stars so i just took some uh light blue and white spray paint and did some little flickers uh so there you go so i thought that might be kind of fun and i've already got the velcro on the back to attach it to the pedal board but there we go now quick notes about this this was actually an extremely well laid out kit um i've built quite a few pedal kits and this was really nice one exception that i that i need to call out when you put in the voltage regulator and the transistor the pads on those are incredibly close very 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 close and if i could make a suggestion in the future they should if they do like a revision too they should spread those out i'm not talking about like just a millimeter between them would make a world of difference when you're trying to solder those one other thing to note there is a trimmer pot on the board that controls the amount uh of feedback injected when you hit this button now i set that i turned it up to like they said kind of set it to taste so i turned it up to halfway and then a little above halfway so that's where mine's currently set um, but you can of course trim that if you want it to be more dramatic or less dramatic Let's plug it in and hear what it sounds like. Okay, folks, so I grabbed a guitar here. I got this plugged in and let's hear our clean tone. Okay, so all the knobs are more or less at noon here and let's go ahead and engage the echo. So the first thing you notice is that LED. And if you watch it, it sort of rotates through colors, which is really, really kind of cool. But let's hear what it sounds like. All right, so if we turn the rate up, 
we turn the mix down and we turn the feedback down, we should be able to get kind of a slapback thing. So the PT2399s are noisy chips, but one of the things people like about them is you can change the parameters on the fly, so they do crazy things. Check it out. Okay, so let's try it out on the synth here. I got the Arturia Microbrute. Let's hear the clean tone. And let's kick in the echo. So first thing you notice, you hear a lot less of that ambient noise, and that's because the synth doesn't have a 60 cycle hum like the guitar does. I was also using a single coil guitar, so that's gonna pick up a lot more. But so you notice right away, even though I've got the feedback dialed up, it's not near as uh, noisy on a synth. But let's check this out here. So as you can see on synth, it can straight up create some madness. So there you have it, folks. That is the Cosmic Echo Kit from Stomp Wizard, how you put it together, and some sound samples. You can purchase these from their website. I'll put a purchase link in the description below, about 70 bucks for the kit. Now, if you are thinking to yourself, I'd like to be able to activate these with my toe, you know, with, with foot as opposed to using a hand, they do have another version that is in a wider case where it has three foot switches. Um, so you can take a look at that as well. And that version actually takes that trimmer pot from the back and puts it on the front. And it also adds an expression jack where you can do an expression pedal over the rate. I tend to like a PT2399 delay. I think it has a cool glitchy sound. Other people don't like it because they don't like that glitchy sound. So if this is your thing, this is your thing. If it's not, it's not. But that is how you put it together. Appreciate you tuning in today. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That thumbs up really does help out the channel. I appreciate it and I will see you guys soon.